it's Lalita and uh, Mercury is retrograde with three other planets. So we have four uh, planets retrograding, plus we have Rahu and Ketu, um, planets, uh, invisible planets, lunar nodes that are always retrograding. So what's happening? There, is a, not, there isn't much clarity um, right now about the personal and the um, public, uh, the social and even the financial. There is a lot of confusion. So I want to tell you what to do during this retrograde, which will last until July 12th. So the good news about this is that Mercury will be retrograding until July, middle of July. Um, but Venus, fortunately, one of the four retrograde planets will go direct on the uh, 25th of June. So at least that will reduce the chaos. Um, what's happening right now is that Venus is a planet of relationship and also social life. So you have seen so much unrest, right? Um, people going in the streets and most of them are very good and, pro and, and uh, peaceful. And some people are very angry and destructive, and you can see that in the media. So all these retrograde planets are taking away the clarity of where people actually want to go, why they're doing things, and uh, how we need to be more gracious with others. And a lot of people are lashing out, uh, both on the um, on the um, family, uh, you know, uh, level. Maybe in your family, people are not feeling so great. Or um, on the social level, that, that some people are literally showing signs of uh, temporary, I hope, madness. All right, so that's not uh, a doom and gloom. Things will look up very soon, especially when Venus goes direct on the 25th. So finances will uh, benefit. Also, your relationship will benefit. Uh, your social life will benefit. So it's not the end of the world. Meanwhile, Mercury retrograde in an area of the eclipse, so with the Sun and Rahu, there will be a solar eclipse in a few days on the 21st. So we have this uh, retrograde of Mercury in the house of speech, uh, business, uh, the ancient rishis, so the intuitive yogis, uh, the, Siddha, the Siddhas call this the house of gambling, the house of... Uh, basically, it's a... Uh, people lying to make uh, money. So there's good and bad, right? Um, so Mercury retrograde w may take away your clarity of when you're making a deal, to, uh, knowing whether this is a good deal for you. So be extra cautious, check all your facts, and um, before making a huge investment, and ideally you don't want to make a big investment during a Mercury retrograde, because that's never a good idea. So try to take your time and uh, analyze all the facts. I like Mercury in a Virgo because it's more stable and calm. In Gemini, there's a lot of jumping ahead of yourself to uh, get, make uh, money and to um, make profits. So take your time, uh, analyze more. Uh, I usually trust my intuition more than analysis, but this is a good time to actually pay more attention to everything. So slow down, uh, don't make huge decisions, try not to buy your, your uh, media, like a new computer or a new car, etc. also during this time. So be cautious in business, be cautious with your speech. Now Gemini is a very enthusiastic sign um, that wants to learn a lot, but also very scattered, if, unless it's balanced, because uh, Mercury can influence the nervous system uh, adversely if it's uh, too uh, excited. So you need to take your time again to speak only what you actually want to convey and not what comes out of your, of, you know, like when we speak fast it can happen, we say the, the wrong thing. So be cautious, uh, take your time until July 12th, there will be a lot going on in Gemini. So uh, again, be, uh, stay well and uh, let me know if you have any questions and I'll talk to you soon. I will make more videos about Venus going direct, that's important. And also later in the fall, the, the other two planets also will, will go direct, but there's time, so we will see each other again soon. Take care, thank you so much for watching and see you soon.